things very quickly with your own subject matter is concerned. Judgments, the legal research. That's a wonderful. Uh, you know that how many cases, how many things are happening. High court judgments, constitutional judgments, and uh, Supreme Court judgments. So many things. Numerable judgments are there. Every day it has been no giving. Now in that, what is important is you have to search for some appeals. And interestingly, a lot of people, even the students, I used to say, not only research scholars, normally another drawback what I found out is the people when they started reading these judgments, they think that the dissenting judgments are worthless. That that is the that is the biggest blunder that what we do. Right from 1950, whenever the cases what you have taken. You might have seen that the case laws have been ruled over, and the descending judgments might become a majority judgment at a later point of time. Not all, not all, surely not all. That cannot be the one, but major, major things might happen in that way also. So whenever I tell my students and also the research scholars, whenever you are going for some judgments, please do analyze the. Dissenting judgments and give equal weightage for the same. So those could be a very very vital thing where it's an eye opener where you can bring out such a wonderful research that what can be, no, which is being no, uh, because of majority, this thing would have been submerged and which would not see in the light in some point of time. So that might be the wonderful area where we can get. Lot of problems, lot of ideas. Legal journals, my God, this was a time where you can see that lot of e-journals are there, innumerable journals where you can able to find out what kind of problems that has been, I mean, sent there and discussed or analyzed that has been left in a particular way. You can take that and you can start doing now. Newspapers, a wonderful uh, thing. Now, what is happening day to day? Yeah, social legal is a perfect thing where you can able to understand and you can able to do a lot of interdisciplinary by looking into the newspapers. I tell you just one example. See, this is a mindset that what I am trying to say. People should think, you no, know, when you are a research scholar, you should think in the idea, the attitude of the research. See, what happened is at one point of time, one student, one research scholar came to me. At at that point of time, there is a newspaper. Uh, The cutting what he has brought to me, and he said that in the first page it said that the the the, the government is now ready to buy the Rafael jets for some 400 million dollars or something, which has been come in the first page with overall things about the what the other uh, uh, the, uh, the 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 qualities of the uh, the the the, the so-called the flight of planes and other things. And how well the security of our India will be built up when we get these things uh, in the security point of view and so many things. At the same time, this fellow also brought in another newspaper cutting in the third or fourth page, where there was a data regarding the malnutrition of the child in India. Now, why I am saying is that now see how he has how the mindset of this. He was just coming and discussing. He saying, "Sir, this is what happened in the first page, and the fourth page is is looking like this." Now, when the malnutrition thing has come, which is a very serious issue, which has been given, where India is with a very poor stage, this fellow is comparing with that of the first page, and they say that's a 400 billion dollar whether it's worth for us to do this thing at a point where India is substantially low in getting this. Uh, the malnutrition, no thing that has to be uh, done, which is a welfare measure actually. Now, why are you spending in that case, and why not here? Probably half of the things might be you can do for that, and you can rest of the money can be pulled into make these things a welfare measure as such. Now, see here a research is born, a research topic is born. No doubt, then the, it has to be narrowed down. It has been done. So finally, so that is what I'm just telling that a newspaper has got innumerable number of issues. 
social legal issues that's more important more relevant for india and uh, i'm not going into the political aspects and other things it's a pure research that what we can able to do when that that thing is is being contributed something that is a very very good impact and that is the real reason where the phd has been done the research now in another area where you can go and find research problem is the white papers then legislations law legislation which has been done the renewable legislations where you can find out the impact or the current trend what has been happening what are the changes that has been required from there so that is thing to be taken a lot of consultation papers were there almost all the ministries has got their website their consultation papers you can go around you can just find out that wherever you want to and you can just take number of things see the problem is problems are everywhere but we are not going and finding and we are just just starting there and finding that to go on how to start then ngo reports it's another fantastic area they already they have done but the data on the reports what they have given give you more scope of doing further research on that law commission reports are only know that all other socially relevant matters that are you come across as a great scope to do research so when you see that the reading aspect this will come the listening is another area where you can able to listen in so many seminars conference debates even in tv news the debate every year the news they have taken different different topics no it incidentally all will if you have that mindset it will be germinated into a kind of research which will be very very useful for you now writing aspect is another thing where it is will be all will be left down if you don't write and have some kind of memory smartphones are there you need not even write smartphones are there people are using it nowadays extensively that can be used for that nowadays you can just type it out you can just have a voice recording and enter thing will be typed out or if you not want you can just take notes by keeping the audio so you would might forgot at the later point of the immediately you will do it in your hand so the notes can be taken up research articles you can write the magazines everywhere where you can just note down so once you identify this topic and other things problem a reverse pyramidal pyramidal model would be very much uh, helpful to you where you can able to narrow down the research i will tell you the, what is reverse pyramidal model in a short way now so, and another aspect that when you have been starting doing with the phd is about your contribution the contribution is very very important doing phd the mindset once again 90% will be for getting the cas or joining into the thing that that is a secondary one the major issue is about the contribution what is what is contributed what is your research is all about so that contribution gives the price the contribution identifies you i can surely tell that if you take 100 research probably 90% who have this contribution at all it is simply by saying certain things and end up with certain things yes or no proved or not proved or something like that but real contribution is something totally different it's very important where it has to give some sort of solution where it has to you know do and uh, to give that solution and where the solution now takes a bigger stage and uh, contributes to the society at large that could be the you no know, uh, importance of the contribution the one other aspect what i have seen in a point of time uh, they will start with all the positivity other things that it will be fine everything but at a point of time lack of motivation will be there the research scholars will lose the self confidence so now automatically the things will bomb down and uh, you will start to lose your enthusiasm other things please don't do that have a positive attitude whatever it is whatever may be the situation see that it is a important thing what you have to complete within the time scheduled keep motivating yourself 
never lose the self confidence and go about it. Now, the next important issue is about the practicality or the possibility. Now, this is one of the important elements that what you have to look into because if it is not practically possible, then please don't do that. That is very, very, very important. The practicality of getting so many things that have been done that you have to foresee certain things where you can be able to see that whether it is possible or not. Say, for example, if you are going for a questionnaire and the questionnaire, what you have taken? So the questionnaire should be given to certain uh, stakeholders. So the stakeholders should give you the feedback. There are two ways. One, you can just send it across, like now the two Google forms are there and so many other things are there. Another thing is interview method. You go there, you sit along with him and you just, with all these things, you can do that. But what is practicality is whether you can be able to get it. Number of occasions this is what happened where they do all this question and, and the stakeholders will never return you anything. So ultimately, after your hard work, what happens is you are not getting any possible results. Because it's not practically possible for those people to give certain things in a certain way. So this is the practicality of mindset that what you have to see, foresee, and you have to tell that this is what exactly should be the thing, and whether we can able to get those get those relevant data from them, is it practically possible? So then we can just be able to move. So that's one is important. Then please, at this point of time, I also tell you that encourage the interdisciplinary which is having a very great scope at this point of time. So that is the most important thing or the element that uh, nowadays that what they're expecting. So legal research, obviously we cannot have anything like your research at this point of time. So we have to go for the socio-legal other aspects, the interdisciplinary forms a uh, major thing that what can be a real contribution to the society at large. The next one is about the expenses. Please mind about those expenses and where you have to take care. You know what is going to happen in the long run and you have to force. It. So you cannot you cannot have a budget with the lesser in empirical data of any particular thing. Lesser budget and you cannot expect more number of things can happen. So this is what exactly uh, that has to be taken into consideration. And uh, the just a, just a minute. Wait. Okay. Now, when I say about this smart work, the technology comes into picture. It's a welcome trend. There are so many things. Thanks to COVID, in a number of things, even uh, to our teachers. So it has happened so that we have found out that. The technology has become so vast uh, that where you can use different kind of things for your research. So that is a welcome trend. The uh, only point is you have to use it potentially. The same thing might end up in a way that where your entire thing will go wrong or you might be, uh, no, uh, go to in a different way where uh, you want to face certain consequences. Now, why I'm telling is about the carefulness of the plagiarism or the unknown resources or the unknown, unauthenticated resources. These are very much that you have to be careful when you go to my technology and you are finding out so many other things and you have to be very careful. So for plagiarism, you know that what to do. And of course, acknowledging would be the appropriate uh, method or putting it in your own way and also acknowledging the same would uh, you know, take away from you from the danger of plagiarism. The unknown resources and Ananda authenticated is very, very important where now you can able to find out certain things where you can able to say that that source is not because the red flag, the one particularly there are certain things where you can able to find out that the red flag once is not an authenticator, it is left for the reader to decide. So don't go for those things and go for some authenticated one.
Now, the poor time management is uh, what I told you on the other side, where in order to avoid that, make a deadline, which is a must. Very, very must, very, very essential. As I told you, the poor time management leads you a lot of trouble and the people have lost their uh, hope of completing their PhD because of this alone. Come what may, when you fix that particular time or deadline, you must have to do that. So please spend, these are all the tips that what you can take, spend time in planning. Please spend a lot of time in planning and see that how to plan those things. Then planning is not only enough, a review how things are going in a periodical time will give you a very good insight about what you are doing and where you are exactly. The other one is pilot study, which is very, very, very important. A lot of people, once again, they tend to make the mistake where they can able to find out that they find out the problems later point of time. So pilot study gives you a very good option where you can do it in a very smaller stage and where you can be able to find out the mistakes and you can be rectified. Of course, you might have uh, you might have seen that, uh, say for example, in the empirical case, if you prepare a questionnaire, so the questionnaire is prepared. So what you can do is, before giving it to the appropriate uh, the stakeholders, you can give it to your own friends, and uh, or some people like that, very very small number. And you can just ask them to fill it and give it. So then you know that when the pilot study, what are the nitty-gritties that what you are going to uh, comprehend before itself. And with this pilot thing, where you can be able to rectify those things, and then you can go for the real study. So that is how it has to be. So the pilot study is very, very important. And uh, if at all any failures that has happened there, and make the change accordingly. Now, if you feel that your research is drifting, refocus on the main objectives. Once again, if you feel that the research is drifting at a point of time, refocus on the main objectives. And here where probably you have to go to the supervisor and where you can think that, uh, ask him that where the project leads to. This is the exact place where, you, where your guide might come in and uh, facilitate you and he might give you uh, certain things which will be uh, no necessary for you to put on the right track. Then rework your project plan and give you, which will give you a very clear idea about what to do next and how it fits into the larger picture. Now, occasionally what happens is you have to take a short break as you may just be bogged on with innumerable details and lack of clarity. All the psychological symptoms that it is a must as a human being who might be you know, going through that stages, all might go through the stages. And the best way to take a short break, as you may think so, not a very big break or a short break, but give some time for you to your brain to you know, uh, keep up to the pace. And uh, then after relaxing, you might get started with the work. Learn more from your failures than success. They are catalyst for your positive change. Don't take anything personally and remember that you are training to be a researcher. Now, as I said that the reverse parameter model is a very easy and this is how you have to deduct the research question. So when you put the pyramid into the reverse, so where the broader structure will be in the upward trend, where the corner of the the arrow would be the down when you when you make the pyramid reverse. Now I will tell you that for an example, I can just tell you how this works. You have to compartmentalize the reverse pyramid into several parts. In the first part, the base, that what actually comes the first part here, when you reverse a pyramid, say for example, it is a law that what you are going to do. Research is on law that you are going to fix. So 
law can be written over that. So law is the area that we have finalized going to do this search. So next question is on what law? So the next line would be on what law? Say, I'm fine. I'm good at constitutional law. I want to do it in constitutional law. Fine. Constitutional law, you can just write down. Now in constitutional law, it's vast, you know. In constitutional law, which area you want to focus? All focusing and detecting law. So say, well, I'm interested in part three of the constitution. Well, part three has got so many articles. Next, which one? Article 12. Okay, state. Okay, fine. Article 12 can be taken into consideration. In Article 12, what is your specifically want to do? The next stage would be instrumentality. The state instrumentality. I just want to take into consideration. Now, instrumentality in what aspect? Whether private institutions will be forming the next word is private institution. Forming the whether it comes under the instrumentality the policy or the principle. Now, finally, it comes to the research question. This is what I want to have. That is what it is called as research question. So from top, it is law, constitutional law, part three, article 12, instrumentality, private institution, then research questions. So where the research question can be deduced at this time, where you can just find out, apply it to all the other things. Now, the mind mapping and the spray, the spray diagram is another important element that what you can, what you have to undergo. The mind mapping and spray diagram can be between your thoughts or you can have a group of friends and they can also help you on that. So, please, in this important element is when you do the mind mapping or spray, spray diagram, a lot of people will do one mistake is they will try to avoid the thoughts. That is not a real uh, right one. Please don't avoid any thought process. It is right or wrong. It's a different thing. But allow it to come. That's what it is called as a mind mapping or a spray diagram. Whatever it is, just write down. You put those things and you can just make these things a bigger one. So when the mind mapping or a spray diagram is over, the entire picture has come. Then you can start working out Eliminating the unwanted one. That is the best way that what you have to do. And when you eliminate those things, what you are having in your hand is about the research objectives, research questions, and so many things will come to you. The next one is about the review of literature. A lot of people have this confusion that why this review of literature is happening. What is the real importance of why this review of literature is there? Number one is a very vast reading is required. So you cannot end up with one book or two. You have to read a lot. The review of literature on a particular topic that what you have chosen. So when you read a lot, the literature relating to the research problem you can find two things. One is whether the same research has been repeated elsewhere. So you can avoid duplication in that research. And the very most important thing is to find the research gap. So nowadays, when you are about to write a review of literature, please do write and finally, what is the research gap that you have found out? This is one place that what several people will do the mistake that they won't find the research gap. They will simply say that we have read the book, we have read the article, this is what happened, this is what they said about. That is fine. That is what everything has been done. The literature relating to your research problem will be worked out in a different contextual things and all the things have been what you are just trying to read. So avoid the duplication of the research. Now, what is the research gap there? Then you have to say that, see, these are all the things which has been done by several researchers who have been done. You know, what has been given there under review of literature. But there is no systematic 
thing that has been done on this particular subject that what i am going to do even though this research is appear to be dealt by someone else but they have not done it in the same aspect or the thinking that what i am going to do they have done it in a different uh, aspect and i am going to do it in a different aspect so that research gap is going to be filled in so when that research gap is there this is what my research is on so the review of literature is an important element where you have to show that how many literature you have gone through and how many is related to your research problem but ultimately you can end up saying that already it has been done the duplication of which you can stop that itself and if you find that still it is a scope then you have to tell what is the research gap is on it now the next one is about the collection of data so the collection of data is a really an important one where you can able to no identify uh, while reading a research or no by by doing so many things uh, you have to collect the specific data see normally what happens is this is also an another thing what i found out a lot of research scholars they take innumerable number of sites they go to sites visit innumerable number of sites they gather umpteen number of data collection of data here they are what are ultimately they find out that there is no use use at all and ultimately they could not able to collect and they can say that for which one they have taken this particular data and other things so collection of data is not as simple as that so when you are collecting the data you have to be very specific for what or which you are collecting the data from where you are collecting the data what is how is relevant to the research problem how it is relevant to the hypothesis how it is relevant to the objectives of the research so the very use of the uh, thing in earlier days they used to have the biblio cards so they will write everything in a cards they will write out the card and they will write down those things and they will have the mark on where they took this data from now uh, it is much easy for you to do it the technological thing but however you have to make sure that every data which is been collected is been collected from where because you have to authenticate that particular source acknowledge the source whenever in a in a footnotes whenever the relevant data has been used relevant literature has been used in your research so as i told you that when you are doing this collection of data caution about the plagiarism so avoid red flag materials and very importantly acknowledge the resources at a given point of time now the research qualities uh, there is a contribution when you do that the research qualities are very important and that will tell you that how good is your research is all about number one is be very specific and clear about your objective your objective of your research the most important next one is about the reliability of the data you cannot take the data from anywhere and you can finally tell that this is what happened that should be a reliable data and what you are going to give is also a reliable data. should be a reliable data so you are taking out any data you have to make sure that it is reliable authenticated and that data can be used now the next one is about the validity or the prediction and in most of the cases in empirical research what happens is the good quality of the empirical research is allowing the data to speak rather than you to speak allow the data to speak rather than you so that much quality that you should have where the data clearly speaks on behalf of you that is very important and finally as i told you the contribution is also one such thing that what you can do now dear friends this next item is very very interesting and important that i come across once again with a lot of people and i myself has confronted this situation in lot of time that's what i'm telling there is nothing about the title framing 
title framing of PhD thesis. That's going to be an interesting one. Now, there are a lot of questions about how to frame a title and what should be there, what should not be there, and how it should be, you know, properly given the title. What is the difference between giving title to the journal and giving title to the PhD? These are all the so many things that what has come to our mind and several things are interesting uh, uh, question too. Though, now when the title has to be framed, you have to keep certain things into your mindset. One is less is more. When you say that the title be specific and be brevity. Brevity is the apt word what you can use. How small you can make it can give you an apt title which can exactly identify your research. So the brevity should be there. The grammatical thing should be there. You have to be very careful. And uh, the most important thing is what kind of research what you are going to do should be spelled in the research topic. That is very, very important. What kind of research what you are going to do could be, I will tell you that one with your own example. So this is what exactly, uh, when, the type, when this uh, it should be very precise, each and every word should be very precise. And uh, every word has got its own connotation because when the word what you use should be relevant to the research that what you are, the type of research that what you are going to do. Say, for example, you know, if I put the word impact in the research title, then it should be an empirical research. My opinion or view, if you put the word view or something else, then it should be an analytical. So these are all the things very carefully that it's very, very important one. Please understand the title will speak about your thesis, should speak about your thesis. Not all, but they are able to find out that how good you are at by giving an apt title to it. It's just like giving a name to the child which has been born. So then the next thing would be probably, uh, as I tell, brevity, that, that should be there. And uh, whether you know, everything that has to be done, uh, given in the research to be brought into the title, no. There are certain things where you did not bring it again and again in the title or in the headings. So once you cite the broader title here, then you can make it with the, uh, with the subheadings or so. Now friends, I'll tell you this one title, what I've done, and you can also write it down as I said, then I'll tell you that what are all the wrongs which has been there in this title, and what is the apt title which has to be given. So uh, can I do that? You can you able to write down this title please? Write down the impact of right to education. The impact of right to education in schools. In schools in Tamil Nadu with specific reference to Chennai district. With specific reference to Chennai district. Iphone a study. Iphone a study. Now, once again, I'll, I'll read out the full title. The impact of right to education in schools in Tamil Nadu with specific reference to Chennai district. Iphone a study. Now, probably you have. Uh, can I see that how many participants have written it down? And uh, they can raise their hands. In the participant list. Very few. Now, apparently, when you see this title, can you just imagine that what is exactly the uh, mistakes what has been happened over here with respect to the research taking. 
just think about few minutes whether the title is good whether the title is correct or where it leads to if someone can chat put it in the chat box also it's fine this is already i'm teaching more than 45 minutes i think it will be a boring one if i'm not interacting with you so can anyone anyone uh, say that in the chat box not apt yes sasidran not apt very long Impact impact on students and not schools. Okay, fine. Impact on okay, fine. Then what else? Anybody? Okay, fine. I'll go with that. Huh? so see here what exactly you have to take every word into consideration now as i told you when i mark or made the word impact then when i make the word impact then your study would be not an appropriate word to mention that so i have to mention what type of study i am going to do so when i make impact necessarily the impact that leads to empirical study so it should have either an empirical study or an empirical analysis that makes a no difference so when that being the case the impact study then the study of this thing should not be that then in a grammatical thing the cannot can also not be that so the the can be removed and impact can be that now the next point is where do the right to education is applicable where do the right to education is applicable it's going to be applicable in schools not on colleges so that naturally the right to education has to fit into the schools so there need not be any mention of schools okay so the schools can be the school the word can be taken out so there is out Uh, the schools can be taken out, and then the third one in Tamil Nadu with specific reference to Chennai district. Now the question is, where is Chennai district? Obviously, all Indians will know that Chennai is there in Tamil Nadu. Okay, so it's an obvious thing. What we did not specifically spell out this. Thing. so it is very well known that chennai is in tamil nadu there is no reference to that to be made over here so the tamil nadu with specific reference other things can be eliminated so now the title is totally changed and to give a brevity and the clarity of that then actually it goes like this now we can write down the same title what i tell you this is what exactly happened there now the title is we modified as impact of right to education in chennai district impact of right to education in chennai district i find an empirical study impact of right to education in chennai district an empirical study so is that right so you can find the difference between the earlier one and this one where you can see that it is all been done the grammatical things have been taken the research aspects have been uh, have a logistic no connection between those things and uh, brevity has come in where we have taken out lot of unwanted things and this is how exactly you no know, exactly this is a example that what i have given and this is how the title has to be not all but not less the thing should reflect that what you are actually going to do 
with the giving scope of the privity and other things have been taken into consideration. So this is how it has to be worked out. And uh, let me come to the conclusion part where the miscellaneous things that what I can uh, tell you is uh, do make a deadline as I told you earlier very important and less is more always think on those lines when it say less is more I can add this particular uh, corollary to that don't look for complexity when there is simplicity don't look for complexity when there is simplicity what you want to say say it very plain you need not be a no you are not expecting they are not expecting you to be a Shakespeare or somebody like uh, the judge, you know, who writes the, the, the ornamental judgment and ultimately there is no uh, point in it. So that is not the case. So what your, what your contribution is should be very simple. So when there is a point of simplicity, don't look for complexity and makes the things worse. So data already which has been there can be used for empirical research. This is what great doubt everybody has got. So the data which is already being used can be used for empirical research, but of course, proper acknowledgement should be given and see that the data is a reliable one. And from there, you can take this data and you can analyze from your own perspective. Now, operational definition is in another area. So a lot of people will find difficulty by Confusing themselves by saying that certain things cannot be fit into this and how I am going to do. So for which operational definition is already there. So operational definition is nothing but to make yourself comfortable with certain things that what you have want to brought into that particular uh, no, in your research by saying that this operational definition can be applicable to this. So the A, B, C, D. So A, B that is actually comes within your research for you. C and D is not coming, but by operational definition, you can say that for this purpose, C and D can be included as such. That will be treated in the same way as A and B. That is the real uh, help of this operational definition. So this is how, uh, uh, no, these are all the miscellaneous things. And what I can be able to tell you. And facing the viva was ultimately be honest, self confidence is a must. Clarity, be specific. Don't, don't go, make yourself very clear about presenting it in a small brief with brevity. That will be very important. So, where the clarity should be specific, you should be clear about your thesis. So where your research should actually speak, your data should speak if it's going to be empirical research or in other cases, an analytical thing where your research should actually speak. And you can have the right of giving substantiating with a lot of examples that you can exactly do so. And when you are confronted with certain issues, don't be get panic other things. Just think about what they are actually asking. If you are honest enough, you can right now you say that I'm accepting the issue, accepting the issue, but I have not done this in this case. I have left out in fact, but it will be addressed in your postdoctoral research or in any certain things and other way where I'll be justifying those things. You can just tell it to the uh, audience with your, uh, uh, no, uh, what I can say with uh, uh, what you have done. Exactly. So that is not a place where you can just fight with others or to you know, uh, give a heated uh, debate which should go on. So accept the things and you can just make me doubt in a relevant day in a, another aspect. So I uh, thank, once again thank the organizers for giving me this opportunity to share my experiences with uh, all and uh, best wishes for your PhD. And as I told you that, please take down my uh, email ID that is drvenubalaji at gmail.com. DR, abbreviation, drvenubalaji at gmail.com. 
you can just shoot any number of questions i will answer you and i can guide you in whatever way i can uh, suddenly i hope that this might be one set the practical step what i have given not no taking i know that you have been long uh, reading specific inputs that what i been given by so many other resource persons i don't want to go again and give you the same thing uh, i don't want to so i thought that this would be a practical way of uh, doing the phd and uh, where it is as i said uh, become a research scholar and uh, bring out the research in you where you can really enjoy at the end of the day enjoy the uh, even the smallest research that what you have been contributing would be of great happiness to you okay uh, once again i thank the organizers and every other participant giving this opportunity thank you thank you one